You're a long way from home, aren't you? You're not meant to be here, right? It's very easy to tell. You seem so uncertain with every step you take. Even those who have only visited this place once, they know it like the back of their hands. They could easily navigate, even through thick fog like this. Yes, I'm afraid it is rather obvious to everyone here. But that's okay. Very few people judge. And those that do, often keep it to themselves. No, I'm not judging you. I was merely making an observation. How long have you been here? Only a day. Do you intend on staying here? Well, I wouldn't count on it. Most people leave. They're afraid of this place for some reason. Yes, I know why they're afraid. The thing is, their fear seems quite irrational to me. They think it's haunted. The shores, anyway. And they're afraid that any ghosts of the sea, if there are any, will wander onto the land. Rather odd, don't you think? A childish fear. But residents leave in droves. And those who remain? Something always ends up happening to them. No, that wouldn't necessarily prove that their fears are justified. You see, if you're afraid of something, chances are you'll always be looking out for it. And that searching, that strange desire to see something that isn't there, it can distract you from the real dangers. I've been here all my life. Nothing's ever happened to me, because I'm not afraid. As I said, it's a very childish and odd fear. An irrational one. I myself possess no such fear, because there isn't a need to. My name? Lorelei. And yours? It's a pleasure to meet you. I hope that, if you do decide to stay, nothing happens to you. That's very good. I'm glad you won't let their fears sway you. However, sometimes certain people get paranoid. And when they see anything odd, they immediately associate it with the rumors of this town. Even if they didn't believe before, they start to believe that something strange is going on, that something is wrong here. It's rather unfortunate. People seem to go insane here. As I said, I find their fears irrational. They don't affect me. Why do I find it irrational? Well, I'm the rumor people talk about. 
I'm the creature everyone's afraid of. I know. I appear to only be a child. That's because... Well... They aren't wrong in assuming that what is here is a ghost. I died when I was rather young. And since then, my appearance hasn't aged a day. Mentally, of course, I am much older. I learn, just like anyone else does. My mentality continues to grow, though my body cannot. Why am I here? I died at a young age. That means that I still had a lot of life left to live. I had unfinished business. You don't believe that? You don't believe that that's what causes ghosts to exist? You're very perceptive. You caught my lie. I apologize for it, but that's the only explanation that doesn't scare people. Yes. Someone else met me once. A boy. He became afraid of me when he realized what I truly am. It's all right. I understand why he was afraid. He was very young. Of course he would be afraid of a ghost. I'm glad you're not afraid, though. You make good company. What really keeps me here? Death. Death isn't just a state of being. She is a person, a goddess of sorts. When people die, she views their souls. She determines who goes to the good realm and the bad realm. I believe some humans refer to those realms as heaven and hell. And then, there's purgatory. In other words, the place where lost souls remain. We call that Reaper's Valley. In this land, she dwells. Lost souls wander, and reapers are made. Certain souls become reapers. Some are the souls of people who have taken their own lives. Some are the souls of people who lived perfectly neutral lives and don't deserve to go to the good realm or the bad. And there are some who are like me. We died so young, we didn't have a chance to corrupt our souls. But at the same time, we didn't do anything to make them truly pure and worthy of going to the good realm. Yes, I'm a reaper. But I prefer to be called a ghost. Because when people see me as a reaper, they also see me as a killer. I don't like being viewed that way. No, I'm not a killer. Well, in most myths, a grim reaper kills people and takes their souls. That's why people think I'm bad. That's why people think I'm going to hurt them. 
What do reapers do? It depends on what kind of reaper you are. The way you die determines this. I drowned, so I became an ocean reaper. Greek mythology called us sirens. We lure people to their deaths. That's what they thought anyway. If someone is meant to die, we pull them into the sea and drown them. But only if the goddess of death deems them dead. No. I am not necessarily without sin in that way. I've had to drown people before. But only because it was their time to go. That's how we claim their souls. So they can move on to the next realm. Whether that be the good realm, the bad realm, or Reaper's Valley. How do we do it? Most people say we sing. In some cases this is true. I, for one, enjoy using my voice to lure people to their deaths. Really? It isn't so bad when you think about it. Yes, then singing, an activity that most people like to think of as happy, becomes associated with death, but it's a nice way to send someone off, don't you think? Singing them a song? And you can put them in a different state of mind when you do that. You can bring them peace and comfort so they're not afraid of death. Indeed, most people don't think of it that way. That's why they're afraid of us. They think that we only want to hurt them. But we don't. We're merely doing our jobs, much like anyone else would. Where are you going? Oh, you need to leave? Are you really going home with soaking wet feet? You're standing in the water. Didn't you notice? You were following me. As a ghost, an ocean reaper, I have to stay with the sea. Sometimes that means drifting out with the tide. You kept moving closer and closer to your own death. What do you think I mean? Haven't you noticed? Your health is deteriorating. That's why you came here. You thought a life by the sea, no matter how short it was, would be better than a boring city. How do I know that? The goddess of death told me. She tells us everything we need to know about the people we're supposed to drown. I'm very sorry about this. You seem so nice. But perhaps this will be a good thing. Once you drown, you'll become an ocean reaper too. That is, if you lived a neutral life. If not, perhaps you can become an angel of sorts. Or, if you've been bad, you may become a halfling demon. A demon that was created from a human soul. Regardless, it's not as bad as it seems. If you'd like, I can sing for you. So you feel 
happy about this, so it doesn't hurt as much. Oh dear, you're going to put up a fight, aren't you? Now, now. I know I seem young, and you'd think that a ghost wouldn't have much strength. But this is the purpose I was made to serve. I can hold you down. Just close your eyes. It will be all over soon. And once you get used to the water, it isn't so cold. In fact, it feels warm and inviting. It's just like going to sleep. And when you wake up, you'll be dead.